p.m. night here. Uh, depending on where you are, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. As you can see, I have um, chosen Invincible to uh, talk about um, right now, and uh, I'm a little bit late to the Invincible game. I have picked up issues um, sporadically here and there, uh, and the ones I've picked up, with the exception of one, um, I pretty much have always, <clears throat> excuse me, enjoyed them. However, ha after having heard so much uh, about this series and having heard, and and having heard so much about um, the skills of Robert Kirkman and whatnot, I decided to go ahead and pick up my first uh, Invincible trade. I did not regret it. Um, in hindsight, of course, <clears throat> I would have uh, um, had, had I a time machine, would have liked to have gone back in time and picked the original issues up. Well, that not being the case, and things being what they are, uh, I have to say this trade is uh, really what I've been looking for. It is the nearly perfect blend of the old, um, the old guard, which is Dan Lee, Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, what they brought to Marvel um, way back in the day, married up um, with some of the darker edge stuff, like. Uh, um, what Frank Miller or uh, Alan Moore uh, have been doing. There are not enough positive adjectives I can give this trade um, um, that would be enough. Uh, from the opening sequence, watching Invincible deal um, with a bomber initially as you're reading it you're thinking that he's uh, almost like a one man um, version of the authority I didn't really I didn't really need to see that uh, um, the authority does a good enough job at being the authority. Uh, I didn't want to see anything else like that. Of course, I read a little bit further, delved a little bit deeper, and I found out what I thought had happened actually transpired altogether differently. And it was, to say the least, uh, mind-blowing, no pun intended. Um, This is obviously a labor of love for Kirkman and um, we fans have uh, been taken on a ride that may come along only um, once or twice in our respective lifetimes. Uh, what I had been lamenting about on several um, um, boards of different um, vloggers uh, was the fact that I was not crazy about the art. While that hasn't actually changed, I can see that uh, once reading the story, you will see how, <clears throat> excuse me, you will see how the art marries well 
with the story. Um, now, uh, what Kirkman also has done is he's made me consider something I hadn't even thought of, even remotely, which was um, picking up an issue or a trade of The Walking Dead. Uh, I'm not a zombie guy. I really could care less than uh, two shakes of a scientist's lab rats shaved nads about zombies. But I do like a good story. Um, I do like great characterization. <clears throat> and Robert Kirkman um, um, has shown himself to be far more than capable of presenting both and then some. My intention is to at the very least collect all the trades up until they put the trade dealing with the death of Adam Eve. Then I'll consider whether I want to go further than that. Um, um, before the most I've ever collected of one series was Marvel's uh, Tomb of Dracula, which was canceled after 70 issues. And uh, I think Invincible might catch up. <clears throat> now, uh, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm actually curious as to whether or not Kirkman will, once he's done with Invincible, as well as um, Walking Dead, uh, what he would do for an encore. He has exceptional, exceptional um, um, writing skills, so while uh, it may not come to him just like that, uh, I'm sure whatever he would tackle um, would garner great interest. And uh, whatever he may do in the future, um, I'm certain that at minimum give it a look. Now for those of you who are uh, uh, or who have been Invincible fans from day one, um, I know that I'm essentially preaching to the uh, converted. Uh, but to those of you who like me had been, had been um, basically in the dark uh, for the most part about this series it's time perhaps to consider stepping into the light um, I really don't know what else I can um, add to this so I guess uh, I'll log off right now and just say you know, um, without any further ado, I bid each and all of you a fair adieu, and I'll uh, see you when I next see you. Nights out.